Yo, what is up everyone? How is it going? Uh, I am with the low end. I am here running Peachy Moat World, which is a wonderful, wonderful game that was made for me and my namesake, well, not my namesake, my friend's namesake, who is on the couch with me, uh, the wonderful Peaches. Peaches, please say hi. Good. I'll, I'll... See you all. I really do appreciate everyone coming hanging out and watching. See you all. I really do appreciate everyone coming hanging out and watching. Uh, so, this is going to be a lot of fun. This is also going to probably be kind of bad because i'm not very good at the game but hey it's gonna be we're gonna have a good time which is the main thing <laughs> we're gonna have a lot of fun uh yeah i i mean we're gonna have fun fast that's that's the hope that's the hope you know i wouldn't so much call this as a speed run but we'll try and do some speed fun and we'll go with that so uh let's get this started um and just see how we go it's just... i love your ability to sell yourself this is great oh dude i'm all about it man <laughs> i'm all about that but yeah, the, the pet disco shell that we're taking for a walk that we see quite a few times. Um, we see many of them, actually, at certain parts of the run. And uh, they are they are the devil. But hopefully, hopefully they'll be nice today. Every so often they do good things, but you know. Every so often, yeah. Every so often. All right, level one. Can I make this first jump? Right, good start. Good start. That's a good omen for the rest of the run. I feel good. Level 1's a great intro. If y'all caught this, the name of the level is Isla Nublar, which is a Jurassic Park reference. I think Dan is like a major cinephile. He likes to name some levels after movies. Yeah. Ah, oh, we missed the Dino Rhino. Damn it. But that is why that is why we have the background the way that we do. It's why we have the level filled with Dino Rhinos. Um, and it's a really fun level. There's also our one favorite dinosaur boy that we meet at one point, which we get to throw in a pit, which makes me very happy. Because, as we know, Yoshi is the tools to be used in the sky. Oh my lord, what am I doing? Great start. What am I doing? Oh, mate. I, I told you, I'm nothing if not consistent, but consistently bad. No, you're doing great. You're doing great. Ah, Y'all right. probably notice um, a lot of these levels have a theme. This first level is just a nice intro to the game. Um... The theme is mostly stomping on dinos, which is kind of a messed up theme, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, it sets it sets a good tone though for like difficulty and everything else. Third time's a charm. We love H. it. Yeah, if y'all in the chat uh, want to get into this, I don't know how many of you um, pay attention to the Kaizo Mario community, but anytime Moat hits a checkpoint, you should say H in the chat. There goes our favorite dinosaur in the pit. Happy days. Oh, as if I died there as well. Oh dear. But as I said, it's speed fun. That's what we're doing. That's what that's what I'm claiming this section to be. And we're gonna have a good time. Good, Yoshi showed up, which makes me have a good time. That Yoshi is so unpredictable because sometimes he just doesn't like to actually arrive. And there's the good luck. There's the big H, GG. The, the big H. And now we're on to the level that has scarred me the most from my blind playthrough of this game because I genuinely spent 10 minutes trying to figure out the first jump. It wasn't my brightest moment. Controlling my laughing back here. It won't take 10 minutes now. That's the main thing. Look at that. First try. <laughs> what a champ. What a champ. So this oh, is that a, hitbox is rude. This is shoot the curl level two. Um... I think this is just your standard, uh, they, they wanted to make a beach level. Spark and Dan wanted a beach level, so you got some dolphins here, you got some fish here. Uh, your pet disco shell decided to hang out. It's a good time, everyone's yep. here, the whole gang. The, the music is from Plock, and the track is Beach. So, it's all thematic, it all fits together, it's lovely. Nice room. Now, here's, here's the worst Kaizo block in the game. The amount of times I've hit that, then run off the edge, and had a cuddle with the Fugu. Has been very rude, but I'm going to quickly go and uh, show off one thing this hack is filled with, which is secrets and portraits. And this is Sparky17 High, our wonderful, our wonderful Sparky Sai, who made this hack along with Dan2.5. Uh, I wanted to say hi to him just to make sure that he knows that I love and appreciate what he's done for me and Peach um, and everything that he does, just generally within the community. Um, and making this game is just 
such a wonderful thing. So I just wanted to just show that off. If you aren't following Sparky Sire, you should be. Uh, because as I said, he is a very, very, very good Kaizo player and a very, very, very good level maker. And generally just a wonderful, wonderful man. Shout out to Spark and Dan for making this and putting our names in the title. And I hope that you and I do them justice by playing this, this game today. I mean, I definitely don't. But... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, you're doing great. That's okay. That's a but that's big okay. H. Big H, y'all. Big H. That, that, was, that feels like that's probably the best level two's ever gone. <laughs> and I even took time to hang out in the portrait room. Maybe that's the secret. Maybe it is. Detour, and you get there faster, apparently. Right, Elden Canyon. Peach's favorite song in the hack. <laughs> So I said, I was playing another Kaizo hack, Booey Booey World, and uh, this is a song in that hack, and the level that that song is featured in absolutely plagues me, and I was talking about it, and said, if I ever hear this song again, it's going to send me back, and of course, level three, <laughs> Spark and Dan put this song in the hack. I love, so, I love that you, you, you made that sentiment very clear about 10 seconds before you entered this level. <laughs> without any idea that that was going to happen. I remember it that, yeah. Just... I said, there's no way they would do that to me. There's no way they would put that trumpet song in this game. And here it is. Beautiful moment. Genuinely beautiful moment. This uh, this hack does have an absolutely banging soundtrack, though, all the way through. Um, and it's, a, it's, it's somewhat of a shame that we're not doing 100% because I can't... It just means I'm not showing off every song. Let alone every level, but, like, I'm not showing off every song which is the biggest crime, really. Uh, this track is also an absolute banger. I love this song a hell of a lot. While I'm on the, the, the consistent theme of telling y'all what the theme of this level is, I think the best way to describe it is to use Moat's split name for this, which is The Floor is Lava. The Floor is Lava, yeah. You just don't ever really want to be on the floor most of the time. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, you can see that at this point, but just lots of shell tricks here. Um, avoiding the floor, avoiding the munchers. Quick I feel like this is too. probably... I feel like it's probably the closest Mario has ever come to actually doing a plumbing job. <laughs> I don't know that for certain. Oh, there we go. Ooh, first try up. Pump. There we go, first try. And we're not getting I, it all. I knew you were going to do this. <laughs> So for anyone who's wondering the mysterious voice <laughs> that is floating around, hi Peach. That's me. That's you. <laughs> Fun fact about that picture. Um, my mom was not thrilled about this. What you don't see in the photo is I'm holding a Guitar Hero controller. <laughs> oh, it's my so... favorite thing about that photo, honestly. There you go. Absolutely my favorite <laughs> thing about that photo. I love it. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> it's so good. It's so so good. The thing is, as well, like you, you get the orb, and then like initially you never see it. Uh, you never see the pipe until like the screen's kind of closing. And I never saw it initially either. Um, what I first saw as a portrait was this one. This was the very first portrait I saw in the game, which is me in a lion blanket. So, <laughs> <laughs> so wholesome. <laughs> but to be fair, the way that whenever I look at that, I think I just look like a giant squirrel. So, you know, it's... You are nuts know. for playing this game. I am a little bit. I am a little bit. <laughs> yes! He's, he, he's allowed one. He's allowed one and he used it early. Uh, but yeah. By the way, do we have time for a, a donation or two? Absolutely. 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 Right. Well, we've got an anonymous $10 donation. That's how we'll start this off. Um, so thank Beautiful. you very much to this anonymous donor. We've got $25 from Soap. It just says PMW Hype. 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 Hi, Soap. Thank you. And then we've got just a little tiny $200 donation from Peach. Far out. Whoa. It says, a, a peachy donation for Nami to lift people out of the moat of mental illness. Have a peachy speed fun time. <laughs> oh, amazing. Thank Whoa. you, Peach. Yes, no, thank you all for me. your generosity. Thank you, Mystery Peach. That's amazing. Mystery Peach. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you very much for the donations. That's that's genuinely amazing. 
That's, that's so generous and awesome. Uh, I'm I'm really really thrilled to be involved in this and being able to play this game um, as mediocre as I am for, uh, for for this just genuinely like wonderful cause. Um, Are you kidding? You just nailed that level, man. That one went well. That one. That one. That one. We get on with that one. This one is iffy, but we uh, we get on with that one. No, this level's great. So so the theme here in Frostborn Cavern is to keep up with these skull coasters. You're gonna see the most helpful helper fish you've ever seen in Super Mario World coming up <laughs> right here. Look at that fish. He just wants to just help. Wants a, just wants a cuddle. In the Kaizo community, some people call it the biz. In the biz, we call those helper fish. Yeah. Nice, that was clean. That could have gone way worse, so I am very happy with that. Yeah, we've got ice physics in this level too. You can't tell really because Mode is just crushing this, but the floor is not lava. The floor is very slippery. The floor is very, very slippery. And these uh, these spikes that are around are also very dangerous. Uh, they're precariously placed, but also they will instant kill me even with a power up or with iframes. Uh, they they care not for the norms. That block grab is also just nefarious. You know what I think you should do because you crushed the last level mode. What? I think you should intentionally hit the troll in the next level to show the chat. Okay, yeah, all right. We can we can show that off. We it can show that off. It might be my favorite troll in the game. It's one of mine. Uh, especially because of the way that it, it got me double. Um, <laughs> but I can show I can show I can show off both in one go to save to save time. But I want to try and show off as much of this game as I can uh, in the time limit whilst also you know still trying to uh, you know do it with an estimate. Oh, absolutely. But I have, so, I, have, I have so much love for this game and there was so much care in everything that went into it and I think it's such a great representation of what the uh, the SMW community is with how creative they are. Um, you know, in, and especially from, you know, the, like the hacks that this has taken inspiration from uh, and where what, what the standard of hacks are now. You know, um, yeah, I want to try and show off at least as much as I can. Well, Mo, speaking, this of your, uh, speaking of your community, they're coming out in droves right now. Do you get a moment for a couple more donations? Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Well, we've got a $20 donation from the Sour Hour uh, with no comment. We've got $25 from Skizinator. It says, good luck awesome. on Peachy Mo World. And by the way, Thank you very much. H. H. Yeah, Thank you very H. much. Oh. And then we have a $10 anonymous donation that has a, a quick question for you. It says, hey, Moat, can you spare a minute to draw us a picture? <laughs> no. <laughs> In a word, no, I cannot. <laughs> uh, so for, for those who don't know what that's about, um, I have a channel point reward system. In my in, in my chat, where if you have five thousand moti bits, you can ask me to draw a picture, uh, and I will draw any picture for you. But I only have a minute to do it, and I can't draw very well. And uh, it's had some very interesting results. Now this level here, you see this key. You've had a key the whole time, and you think, well, I'll take that with me. And generally, you don't see the H. And the first time you get it kind of you know tells you that you're going to be coming back here a second time but when you try and avoid it the second time coming through at a speed you'll hit that and now you can't put the key down no matter what and yeah, then the you just stuck of, with it the theme of this level <sighs> is that once you grab the key you cannot let it go so it's a it's an asm tech called sticky keys and he had to take that key through the gold tape <laughs> the secret is that key is a reskin <laughs> p-switch and it turns into yep. a mushroom and then he can't fit through the gap at the end so Mo's yep. holding these keys because he cannot physically let them go. But that troll it's at the just, end is so good. It's so rude. It is so funny though. I mean, like the fir the first time that got me, I, I I was in bits in general. And then when I when I hit that Kaizo block, I was I I lost it because I I obviously I didn't I didn't hit it first time because I didn't try and jump. So the uh, the bait was outstanding, genuinely guess... outstanding. Also worth noting too, you can pass the final gold tape in Super Mario World, but if you die before the screen fades out, it does not count as a win, which is why yep. Moat is playing the level again. 
Yep. I also don't know why I didn't make that jump. That was just extremely rude. But here we are. There you we know, go. One nice thing about Peachy Mo World is even if you die, you're listening to a crazy good soundtrack. So. Yep, fully. So it's not a problem. There are there are many bops along the way. Just like the friends we make. Right, please. Thanks. Ooh. There we go. GG. And now we have safe, safe passage into the next level. Now this is where this is where this gets interesting. Uh, because we we see a Yoshi house that we never normally would see apart from at the start of the game. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly just pop into Crossroad Cabin. I'm going to show you why this is here and what this entails. So there is just a speaker box, but it says left is Moat Cliffs, right Peachwood, up Dark World. We can't really go up and do anything. So we have the option of going left or right. I'm going to go left because I love myself. It's not It's not that. It's just <laughs> the levels The levels are much, much uh, more stressful, I think, on the left-hand side. I like to get them out of the way, and then that indicates whether the run's going to be good or not. So let's try and get these done at a decent time, and then, uh, and then we'll go to the Peachwoods. Uh, you're oh, double no. jumping in this level. This is the gimmick mm -hmm. here. Double jump is not normally in Super Mario World, so you can double it's jump not. regular jumps, oh. you can double jump spin jumps, you can mix them up. Um, typically, if you play this game, you'll notice the moat side is more shell tech and um, just technical than the peach side. The peach side is more gimmicky and trolly. And that's just because it's oh, it's uh, really? honestly a love letter to the two of us from Spark and Dan. Those are the type of things that we like. So yep. let's gonna try to double jump through these levels and for this level and make it to the end unscathed. Ah, oh, every time, every time I'll do that like it's at least once whenever I run this. Maybe a bit, a skosh of a scathe. And it's such a rude sprite sprite destroyer that's there. Oh really? Oh wow. This is this is terrifying. <laughs> this is one of those levels for me. Really? Oh, platform. My lord. This is one of those levels for me that either goes like really well and I one shot it. Or uh, it does this. And we like to have a little bit of a, a back and forth before it lets me lets me loose from its capture. Now you're gonna one shot the second. I normally can. So I'm being... Ah, oh, really? That was like a pixel. That was like a pixel. No, we'll do it from now. We'll do it from now. There we go. This is, this is when it starts to matter. This is when it's fine. <laughs> I love this section. It's such a creative use of the double jump tech that... And once again, we got to make sure that we don't post goal death. Two in a row as well. Two levels in a row of a post goal death is just very, very cheeky. Yeah, if you don't jump right here, you die. Yeah, best way to avoid avoid that is just mashing. Just mash the jump buttons. But I remember, I remember, I, I was doing a, I was doing a run back of this, and uh, I completely forgot that existed. And I, I, I went and looked in the chat after I finished the level, and then just heard the sound of Mario perishing. And got very confused. I was like, why? And then remembered that, uh, yeah. Anyway, gonna, fun section. Yeah, we're going to avoid the uh, regular exit and go right to the secret exit, which has this awesome ASM. This is probably my cool, the, the tech I think is the coolest in the game. That shell teleports back to Moat's hands. Oh, oh, that was sad. <laughs> if he presses L or R, the shell will come back to him he can use it again so he's gonna do a bunch of shell jumps which is not a normal mario trick but it is in kaizo and then he's gonna bring the shell back to him and do another trick over and over and over again until he misses the up pipe the hardest trick in any super mario world game getting into a vertical pipe all getting of you into know a vertical pipe closely followed by a door Yeah, Moat, Moat's going to um, play around with this shell for a while. If you have any more donations, what am I doing? not too much else to say about this tech. Yeah. Well, it turns out I do, actually. I've got a $10 donation from Gover Yao saying, I've got nothing left, Phil. Have a good luck. Have a good run, <laughs> bud. <laughs> uh, thank you for the donation. 
I feel like I've got nothing left. All I've got is up inputs apparently when I don't need them. <laughs> which is really upsetting me. Well, I've got one thing left, and that's another donation. This one for $25 from Larsec with no comment. So, thank you both thank you for very your much. generosity. Thank, thank you, you very much for the donations. It's happening, Peach. It's happening, as we called it. It's going to be one of those where this this is just... It's going to fight us every step of the way. I don't know if this is the level for you, but when I'm when I'm running this category, the any percent category of this game, this is the level that is make or break for me. I, I could be it's... stuck in this level for way too many minutes. I mean, for me, it genuinely could be any level. Um, really? Oh my, I, I am having some very bad luck. And I'm gonna put it all on the luck. Think about this, you could have to deal with the door, but you don't have to. That's honestly almost the entire reason that I run any percent. Look, it worked. <laughs> almost entirely the reason that I run any percent is because I don't want to deal with that door. <laughs> Like ever. <laughs> hey Mo, uh, do you have time for one more real quick before this next level? Absolutely. Hit me with it. Because I, I, I think this one is pertinent. Um, it's a four dollar and twenty cent donation from Taddy Beautiful. Mods. It says, Can you throat sing the next level theme? Oh <laughs> Oh my god. No. Um, <laughs> there's no way I'll be able to do it, do, do that for this. I mean, I, I could, I could throat sing. Sure, throat I could, I could, theme. I could blast out a note, but I couldn't, I couldn't do this level theme. Um, give me a sec. Let me get in this pipe and then. Um, apparently I'm not getting in the pipe. Right, let me move my my mic away. <clears throat> there we go. Trying to open up for that vowel as well is so difficult. But that went better that was, than I thought without any warm up. That was beautiful. Thank you very much. Just an ugly man making ugly noises. So here's what you'll notice about the Switch Palaces. Ooh, nice. <laughs> How did that trigger? That was not a setup, but there you go. That was good. No. So, so uh, Spark and Dan really liked to troll us on occasion. And both Switch Palaces in this level, the blue and the yellow one, are the ones that are are targeting us the most. So this mm -hmm. is the moat side. This is the, the moat extra troll level. Um, are you planning on showing off yep. why? Okay, so yep. you'll see why near the end. Um, yeah. I don't think moat... You don't typically dislike water levels. It's just a shout out to that... Uh, that Lonnie it's a shout out to that that one that one scenario. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Another and that's mystery. that's what we'll call it. We'll call it a scenario. But yeah, lots of swimming rooms here. Um, only one checkpoint, but six swimming rooms. So <gasps> there he goes back to room one, even though he already did three rooms. How? Oh, that's the first time the four swimmers actually failed me. Ah. Oh, Y'all have your I'm bingo cards. Think. I've got, I've got to rethink my thesis and everything now. That really upset me. That really hurt. This that was genuine pain. Run. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've, <laughs> I've flopped that in a run, but I've never had it flop it when I've done the four swim strat. I'm going to have to start doing your terrifying strat, Peach, I think. Hey, that's okay. It's we not, because it scares you. me. It we scares me deeply. It chills me to the core. It's kept me up for three nights this week. <laughs> Don't do it in the run. Maybe practice it afterward. Well, yeah, maybe. Hey, spe speaking of embraces, mm -hmm. Nathaniel Spence sends in $10 and just says, Bigly love. Bigly love. Thank you, Nat. Appreciate it, dude. Oh, oh my. <laughs> this swamp this swamp wants to give me bigly love, and I don't want it. I don't want it. I just I just want to say hello and then leave. I don't, I don't, I don't want the cuddle. Uh, Everything wants. To thank you for this. honestly. Thank you for the donations, though. It really, it really means a lot. Uh, you, you've all come out in force, and it's it's really wonderful to see. So thank you, everyone. Right there, we go. You got this. Don't hug that swamp. I don't. I don't want to. I don't know. I don't know why he's catching up to me and giving me a hug. I genuinely don't know. I like. I'm. I'm. I'm absolutely baffled. That was scarier than it should have been. Oh, 
No. Oh. Oh. Very nice. There's an H. There's the H. Give him the H, chat. Oh. I can't do your fast strat through here. Oh, I don't even. I don't even want to do my fast strat through here. So the next no. few rooms. Um, I, I don't want to speak for Spark. He is in the chat, but we have a feeling that this room has a little bit of inspiration from the Hack Invictus by Just Cook. That's why nice I call little, this room Swim Victus. Nice little clock room, avoiding the fire bar and making your way around a couple times. What or happened there? Sometimes not. I brought deep shame upon myself more than anyone else, but it's there. All right, okay. In, thank you. This is the the twenty, the the twenty two fifty nine room. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. All right, okay. That was really scary because that went kind of wrong, but it's fine. At least this room is nice. Yeah, this room looks pretty daunting, but as long as you take your time, you have so much time before that spiny falls. So here's mm -hmm. here's the troll that, that I was talking about. I'm just going to show you some, some fun. So I didn't ever expect this, but you go up here to avoid the fish, and that's what you're meant to do, but you press up. You instinctively press up, and you end up back in the water level from Lardy 1. This section only took Moat 5 hours. It didn't, right? That's just egregious, and I'm upset. Yeah, it was 4 uh, hours let's see if and 29 I can... minutes. It wasn't that long. It wasn't even this section that took like the, the, the chunk of time. It was the second half. Deeply, deeply aggrieved by all of this. So not only did they put this troll in that takes Moat back to a water level that plagued him, it checkpoints you here too. So you have to beat this. You can't turn back. No, you can't. You can't get out of it. And if you get a checkpoint in a Mario game, in an SMW oh. game, you cannot quit the level and come back and start over. You are starting from here. So, <laughs> Moat has to play this now. Yeah, I probably should have played this troll, like, in practice. <laughs> I haven't played this level since my blind playthrough because I always was like, I'm never going back in it. I'm never going back in this room. Luckily, they walled it off. They didn't make you play the whole level. No, they didn't. Still, so normally... that is absolutely brutal. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's it's rude. It's rude. But Dinkelberg, this is this is where I'd put my band spark hammer if I had one. But I don't. <laughs> I don't. But in the in the original version uh, of that as well, after after I went through that pipe and saw my emote, uh, I went back through the pipe that I just come out of. But instead of it, oh sump, we got the sump. Um, Instead of it bringing me to here, they took me back to the very first, the very start of the game again, and gave me another checkpoint, uh, like of, of the level. But it was just a, it was just a twice, twice. As soon as I beat that room, it, it sent me through to the Switch Palace. So it wasn't, it wasn't the worst, but I, I lost my mind. <laughs> I was very, very upset. It was very funny though. So Moat is uh, ignoring the rest of the levels on the Moat side. In the hundred percent yep. run, you'd finish out the Moat Cliffs or the Peach Woods, whichever you went to first, and then you go to the other. Mm -hmm. Moat only needs but... to hit the Switch Palaces on each side so that we can build the bridge to get across to the Dark World. So three levels from Moat side, three levels from Peach side, and we're done. And that's what makes it the end. that's part of what makes it the any percent run. Uh, but here we have. A nice tribute to me, uh, my friends, who are definitely my friends, know that I am terrified of spiders. So they named the first level in the Peach Woods Arachnophobia and reskinned a bunch of enemies into spiders, and they made me interact with them. So, but at least, at least it's at least it's in a way where you know you get to you get to jump on them. That is true. Yeah, ma yeah. maybe they thought of this as like therapy for you. <laughs> maybe. They're interesting enemies. You don't see these in, in a lot of uh, Mario hacks. In fact, I, I don't think I've seen them in any. Uh, I, I, uh, I can't think of any that I've seen them in. Actually, maybe maybe one or two uh, certain ones. So, like these spiders here that drop down, I think I've seen them in, like, uh, Little Mallow World. Okay, gotcha. But that's, like, the only place that I can think of that I've seen them. But yeah, we're going to feed a Yoshi now, so 
Uh, mostly just more spiders if there's any more donations or um, I might look away from the screen at least for a few minutes. No, no, you have to watch. You have to watch. You have to watch, man. <laughs> oh, good. He's out. He's out. Never mind. I'm out. I'm okay. out. It's all right. It's all right. We got through oh. it. It's not a problem. We do have $10 from Vaporeon. It just says, hi, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> We're not even getting into that. We're not even getting into it, but thank you very much. <laughs> Far out. <laughs> oh. oh, this is one of my favorite uh, gimmick levels because you can't jump. All the jumping that's happening is because Moat has landed on an enemy. Oh, and look, mm -hmm. the no jumping's already gone. We're in the second. There we did. In, in, out, done. Go see, go see the boo, and then we go into the greatest concept of a level: ice physics, and you can't see everything that you'd want in a platformer. But it is actually a really nice section. It's really well done and really well designed. Oh my lord, I was wearing them as a hat. And they give you some great Chrono Trigger music to go with it. Exactly. They absolutely which is, do. Which really does help. As I said, the soundtrack for this game is just, it's insanely good. It is insanely good. It's so well thought out and everything like fits the atmosphere of what every level is trying to be. Um, you know, and, and at least for SMW hacks, but as, as I'm sure many people would agree for like video game music in general, it is, it makes or, it, it's make or break, you know. Nice one shot, by the way. Thank you very much. Not Thank even time for an H. So, uh, as I said earlier, this is the this is the Switch Palace troll extraordinaire for me. Um, my biggest enemy in SMW has always been disco shells. So they thought, let's make a whole level dedicated to disco shells. And, uh, and we even have flying. we even have some flying atrocities as well. Those are not native to Super Mario World, might I add. Those are unique and. Um, the devil. <laughs> Those two things. <laughs> uh, Another nice, basically one shot. And a yump. Sump and yump. Two for two. The two Switch Palaces, we get the yumps. Let's this is, go. This is the run. What a based run. I'm actually so happy with that. <laughs> For those who don't know, by the way, uh, when we say jump, it is when you get a jump off of the big switches in the palaces, and that is a one-frame trick. You can only get the jump on the first frame. Uh, and on the underwater, the, the sump, as we call it, that is especially hard. Um, but somehow managed to get them both. And now we're going to go across the bridge that we have built. I think, we, into... I think we're required in a run to make a joke about how this is the hardest level of the game. Oh, what a tough level, my thumbs. Thine ache. Is, is that good enough? <laughs> you nailed it. <laughs> is that good enough? So if, he, if Moat wouldn't have built the bridges by uh, beating the Switch Palaces, that would have just been a large gap in the, in the ground. So that's yeah, why we go to the Switch Palaces. There's no way I'd have been able to get anywhere over there. But now we're on to motor skills. Ah, uh, motor skills. Spelt conveniently in the level title M-O-A-T after me uh i think there's a double-edged meaning to it because a obviously like this this tech which is being able to switch your jump type in midair um between spin jumps and regular jumps so you can do lots of crazy things uh requires a lot of thumb coordination which in general is motor skills um but also i think it's a slight nod to the fact that the motor skills level in invictus took me about 25 hours to beat so uh yeah that one's not an I think exaggeration. That, that's a hard level. That's a really hard level. And Invictus was like one of the first hacks that I played as well. Uh, I'd never come across anything like that before to do. And um, it really, it really, it, uh, it had my phone. It took my phone. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. And then to further the pun, the fact that you've got F-Zero music playing. Yeah. So <laughs> Yeah. This is a really way, great track. By the way, I've got one more donation for you. Uh, $5 coming in from Tobias. Just says hey, Tobias. E. E. Excellent. Thank you very much for the E. This little, uh, this trick that you've now died to twice, this is the yep. gatekeeper for this, this level for me. Um, so that, that Koopa, that Koopa will kick the throw block that Mario throws up there, and then you have to land on it with a spin jump. 
midair. That thing is so hard to hit. I don't know. I don't really have a visual cue for it. I just use my heart. Uh, I do have a visual cue for it. Which is probably one of the few things I actually have a visual cue for. Better, better than my game. heart. Give me your, give yeah. your secrets. It's that she just is just is about to bonk his face on it. Jump, and okay. make sure you kind of loop your jump. Um, and it pretty much lines up almost every time. At that point, it just depends on how well you regrab, essentially. So we are we are at the back end now. We have what? Three, three exits left. Yep. Three exits left, and we are playing this level, which aesthetically is probably one of my favourites. Hitbox wise, it is not. Um, and also, these platforms are very, very hungry. They like to eat your jump. They like to eat your spirit. Um, they like to eat your enthusiasm a bit when you're deep in a run and then you spend seven minutes on this level because it's a hungry boat. Um, and there's going waffles slow. Look at those waffles. Yeah. You can't eat the waffles as much as you'd like to. So if you are hungry, it's just the boat that's going to eat. Still not you. Um, so it's a, ba it's a bad time. But it's a really fun level. It's one of the most satisfying ones to one shot because of just how many things can go wrong. And especially with this level, how easy it is to spiral. Because um, it is super easy to spiral. Um, but this level is a, a tale of two halves as well. We will get into the uh, the interior of the boat hopefully soon. Um, <laughs> hopefully. So Spark is a big fan of the Mega Man games. I'm going to absolutely get this wrong, but these platforms that disappear once you step on them, that is from Mega Man 4? Question. Oh, really? Uh, ASM ported into SMW, obviously, but I believe that's a shout to one of the Mega Man games. One of the many. Four I have no idea. Right. Why did the why why I did not let go of the button? What why? Ah, oh. ah! Oh. Oh, I genuinely didn't let go of the button. That makes me Ring sad. Ring Man, Mega Man Four. Okay, cool. I didn't get it wrong. Sometimes I listen to Spark when he says things to me. I'm glad one of us does. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Spark has never actually told me that. I genuinely didn't know that uh, these were from Mega Man. But that's really cool. Oh, Tries to block you with the Bowser statue at the end there. Uh, by the way, so somebody, somebody hit the self-destruct button, so the ship's gonna go. Yeah, we need a, we need a, we need a jet. We need to get out. Oh. They knew there was a breach, and they were like, "Just blow it all, get rid of it." So uh, we got, we have a very tight timer to run away. As you can see in the top, it is ticking down drastically, and we only have 30 seconds. So we have to move precisely, quickly and very well and also grab the rope which we didn't do which is a shame but this this was a really this this level on the blind playthrough was really frustrating um because it forces you to learn it basically to play quick you know uh after that though it's become one of my favorite sections in the game uh i really enjoy this like escape timer go quick I might be slightly too slow. No, just, just. They were, you know, Spark and Dan were kind on one front. We we both don't like chuck gates very much, which are those charging chucks that bounce up and down. They only put yeah. two chuck gates in the whole game, so that was yeah. like bless, blessed creators. That was genuinely very nice of them. I bet I, th I think it's because they, you know, they gave us enough with the uh, with the switch palaces and the other trolls that are in this game throughout there are a vast <laughs> amount um so yeah vast. it's it's one of those you know it, it's kind that they at least listen to us and be like please please don't do that we got no star now this is a an ultra star style level um lots of kaizo hacks have ultra stars and um I found recently that I know what things are in Kaizo, and sometimes I just don't know how to adequately describe them. Uh, mm -hmm. Lots of moving, dropping platforms, precise platform, quick movements. That sounds like a but, star, right? Yeah, it is, but you need a starry background. And that's why starry we have a starry background. background. That's go. the one thing that also makes it an ultra star. If you don't have a starry background, it's not an ultra star, it's just a platforming level. Um, 
But this background is gorgeous as well. I, I remember when they were when they were teasing us, they were titillating us with this uh, with this release, and they were showing us some screenshots. And uh, one of the things we saw was this background, and I saw it and was like, wow, that is stunning. Like it really blew me away. Um, nice. But again, it's that kind of attention attention to detail and and love for what they're doing, you know, which kind of makes it so special. Um, but here we are. We are we are near near the end. One more exit. Last level. It's a bad one. <laughs> it's, I'm gonna it's spoil. A bad one. <laughs> I'm gonna spoil this for the chat because when you get to the end, it's gonna happen quick. So this level, honestly, is not too bad. It's pretty. The tricks are not super demanding, but you have to go forward. You have to go backward while you are chased, and then there's a boss that you have to fight. Luckily for Moat, he knows the really simple strat to beat the boss, but time is going to be when he hits the orb in the boss room, so um, we're coming up close. You might recognize the enemy that chases you. You might. Everyone say hi, Fanto. Hi, Fanto. You are you mean and you scare me. If you remember sticky keys from one of the earlier levels, it's, it's happening here too, so Moat cannot let go of that key. <laughs> and Fanto chases anything with the key. Yeah. So you have to deal with him. There's no way to avoid him. That jump there is... Like, the, the jumps on this, especially when you're coming back with a the key, they are so tight. Um, they really are. And, like, the reason what makes them so tight is because the panic is dialed up to a lot because of Fanto chasing you. Um, again, wanted to just give you a cuddle. I choose to believe... That Fanto wants to give me a cuddle when he's not actually just really possessive about key. Um, but you know, that might be just the way that I. So I feel a bit better about if you know he does end up cuddling me. But yeah, this level can be really, um, really tricky, and it's very easy to death spiral on this level because it is just. It's weirdly exhausting, um, but at the same time, like if there was a checkpoint in it, it wouldn't feel anywhere near as much of a challenge. So, I completely understand why this level is the way that it is. Also, this run feels like it's absolutely flown by. I mean, I've had a blast. I've had an absolute blast. Yeah, this has been awesome. It's been so much fun. Thank I got, you all uh, so much for putting I can't help but to agree. I, uh, I, yeah, I can't help but to agree. This has been amazing. Yeah. And the generosity that we've gotten out of the community has been it's, just... It's been mind-blowing. They're oh. just wonderful. So thank you to everyone in, like, in the community. And uh, Speaking of which, mind if I read a few Absolutely, off? go for it. All right. So earlier I said this was an anonymous one that said E. It was actually from Barbara Windsor. <laughs> um, Barbara Windsor no. also puts five another five dollars in and says, "You're doing great, sweetie." Oh, thank you very much, Barbara. <laughs> I appreciate it. And then another ten dollars from Barbara uh, that says, "Hey, Mo, just wishing you a good run. Me and Peggy are wishing you the best." Incidentally, we thought we missed the run. Glad we did. I'm glad you did it as well. Thank you very much for being here and for the donations, guys. Oh, uh, that that uh, get <laughs> that boss death hurt. But I, it's my own fault because I got distracted by the donation message and laughed and didn't just go. And that's entirely my fault. That's not your doing whatsoever. Oh, uh, magic. Ah, well, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll give you one more then that you might have go for a, it. a chuckle go at. For it. We've got $4.60 from the Van Dad. The Van Dad. What's up, man? It says, how did you get a squirrel to like you? Act like a nut. Wouldn't be right without dad jokes. <laughs> it wouldn't be right Love without it. dad jokes. Thank you very much. Honestly, thank you everyone for all the donations and thank you to everyone for putting this event on. Um, like, I know the amount of work that's gone into it has been just absolutely nuts and I really do appreciate the work that everyone's put in for like this event to go how it has for all the runs to be involved, you know, for people to watch and uh, approve the submissions and for getting the tech stuff working and for it all to run as smoothly as it has. It's been, it's been fantastic. So I really do appreciate all the work that's gone into it and thank you for letting me be a part of it and showing off uh, this game and being able to represent a community that got me into streaming and that I love so so much so thank you very much and that is time time beach remote world any percent baby is any percent done yeah echo everything that Moat said this has been amazing thank you for letting me be on the couch for this um, most comfortable couch I've ever sat on <laughs> and, 
and I, I just can't wait to see the rest of this event. This has been awesome. Thank you, chat, for your generous donations, and keep them coming because this is just such a good cause, and I'm, I'm proud to be a part of it. Yeah, honestly, just super stoked to be a part of it. It's it's been a blast. I really cannot thank everyone enough, um, and I really again, I just really appreciate people. Let me be involved, being able to show this off, be a part of something that is like this cool and this amazing. And um, good luck for the rest of the event. Good luck to all the other runners. Uh, I know they'll absolutely smash it. And uh, yeah, thank you very, very much.